just a lot of things to take into account when you talk about being viewed as a top five quarterback. It's not a laundry list. This, this is a list that, you know, it has to be taken very seriously. Well, week 16 in the NFL was all about Christmas presents being handed out all over the field, uh, dots being struck, Rudolph being struck by a, by a nice little football being thrown by some of these quarterbacks, I guess. So uh, here's my uh, top five quarterbacks of week 16, but let's start off with the honorable mentions and guys that just barely missed out on my list. Uh, I got Josh Allen, Joe Flacco, Bryce Young, Chris, and Bailey Zappi, okay? So very solid weeks uh, for those guys, but they don't crack my top five. So uh, let's start off with my number five guy. Number five, Mason Rudolph. Um, Mason had a 124.0 QBR, 17 of 27 for 290 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Mason Rudolph stepped up huge on third downs all night um, and played big in, in, in the situational football. Uh, he and George Pickens had a lot to prove, um, and they connected for two huge touchdowns to keep the postseason chances alive. Um, obviously, the stats are leaning more towards the two big touchdowns that obviously Pat Mason Rudolph's QBR um, and just stats in general. But the play in general out of Mason Rudolph was uh, was very good this week, uh, answered a lot of questions, and obviously he's going to get the start for the last two weeks of the season, and we'll see if he can continue to build off that performance in Week 16. Uh, but going on to my number four quarterback, Baker Mayfield. Uh, Baker had a 116.7 QBR, 26 of 35 for 283 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Baker continues to soak up pressure and shine uh, when the lights are brightest. Um, games are on the line. Defenses are uh, bringing zero blitzes. Uh, Baker made play after play on third down, and he stepped up to throw dots to Mike Evans in the end zone. I mean, that one second touchdown that he threw to Mike Evans in the end zone was an absolute strike. Um, love what Baker Mayfield's doing right now uh, with this Buccaneers offense. Uh, definitely deserves the contract moving forward. Um, and he's got this Tampa Bay Buccaneers look, team looking pretty dangerous, but I don't know how dangerous they'll be in the playoffs when they ultimately face Dallas or Philadelphia. If they face Philadelphia, then obviously they've maybe got a chance. But I, it, it's all looking like Dallas in the first round. Um, I, don't, I think it probably ends there for the NFC South champions. Uh, but uh, moving on to my number three quarterback of Week 16, number three, Jared Goff. Uh, Jared Goff had a 99.7 QBR, went 30 of 40 for 257 yards and a touchdown. Uh, the stat sheet doesn't really show how good golf is and how good golf is performing in this offense. Um, he's playing within himself, avoiding mistakes, and he made the Vikings defense pay when they brought pressure and when they uh, sat in zone coverage. Um, and then obviously uh, Jamar Gibbs was the one who took advantage of scoring the touchdowns mostly. Uh, but Jared Goff, I mean, He's playing some of his best football right now. He continues to be underrated um, in this league. Uh, people think he can't be a capable a capable quarterback, and I think the Lions can be dangerous this postseason with Jared Goff playing like this, especially when you get Laporta back involved in the offense, Amon Ross St. Brown, um, and then you pair it up with this amazing run game with the, two, the two-headed monster they have. Um, and then, obviously, Jared Goff's one of the best in the league in play-action games. So, uh, I mean, this team could be dangerous, but – uh, let's move on to my number two quarterback uh, for week 16. Number two, uh, Jared Goff's running mate, Matthew Stafford. Uh, Matthew Stafford had a 120.7 QBR, uh, 24 of 34 for 328 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Stafford brought it from the beginning of the game. Uh, that That's it. I mean, uh, he was aggressive, soaked up pressure very, very well. Um, I mean, he's IDing blitzes and audibling to six under protection, um, was unmatched in that game. Uh, Stafford uh, and the Rams, when they're hot, are, I think, one of the better offenses in the league, uh, like we talked about earlier. Um, he had those 328 yards to only four receivers, uh, one of those being probably the best rookie receiver in the history of the NFL in Puka Nakua. And then you still have um, you still have a Cooper a Cooper Cup that didn't do much in this game, uh, but he's still a triple count, crown runner in himself. Um, and then that run game with Williams, uh, this Rams team is definitely winning me over. And I think uh, especially if they play Detroit round one, it's going to be a, a show of uh, a, a nice little show in round one. But uh, can I go anywhere else with the number one quarterback performance of week 16? My number one guy, Lamar Jackson. Uh, Lamar Jackson had a 105.9 QBR, 23 of 35 for 252 yards, two touchdowns, and 45 additional yards tacked on the ground. Um, I think where Lamar separated himself to become the number one quarterback was his ability to 
consistently make the big second play. I mean, we talked about it earlier. Uh, Lamar is getting better at executing the first play, but in the scramble drill, the second play is where he separates himself, and that's where he lived this game against the 49ers, exposed the 49ers defense in the second play. Um, I mean, it's very similar to your Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes, uh, but Lamar's playing at a potential MVP level right now with what he uh, brings to the table and what he can do. Um, but he's playing his best football down the stretch. Another test against Miami this week. Um, and I love his mentality of saying, hey, I don't give a crap about the MVP. Um, I just want to go play in February. So um, I, I love that out of Lamar. Definitely got to see more. Um, but I, Lamar Jackson definitely deserves, with the performance, uh, to be the number one quarterback of Week 16. So let me know how this list went, uh, what guys in the honorable mentions or even guys I didn't mention any of those deserve to be in my top five. Uh, you can debate me in the comments. Go leave a like on it, share it, um, and we'll all be around to talk about it. So, uh, But with that being said, that is my present to you on Christmas for uh, week 16 of my uh, top five quarterbacks.